This true temp uh, thermometer is used by a lot of people to measure the temperature of water as it's coming out of your faucet. And it does work well for that, but you might also assume that the entire unit is waterproof. Well, I can assure you it is not. Uh, I'll show you how to um, fix it if yours got damaged um, from water and also how to prevent it from getting damaged. I'll show you how to use it. First, you want to run your water out of your tap at, at full velocity until it gets to uh, constant temperature. And before you test the water, make sure you always have the display in an upward angle so the water that does come on is not going to roll back. Let's test it now. All right, we have turned the water down so you can hear a little better. Um, the display readout actually is not moving and the reason is because it's on hold. See these words up here? There's a hold button. If yours is not moving, press the hold button. Now you'll see it start to climb. So um, once your temperature levels out, you know you're at the maximum temperature it's going to be. I'll show you though what can happen uh, in the back with the battery. If it's gotten into a lot of water, it's going to have some corrosion, maybe some other problems, and your reading is not going to work. All right, now we need to remove this, the back, and we can do that with a penny. Normally, um, you would unscrew it like you would a milk, milk jug lid, but this one is exactly opposite. It does say with arrows what direction to go for open and close, but it's opposite. So if you don't read it, you could break the threads. In this case, we're spinning clockwise to get it off. And um, there's a lot of corrosion that can happen in here if it has sat submerged in water for any length of time at all. Also, the screen um, can uh, become very fogged and you'll see lots of water condensation in here. Um, so here's how you can correct the battery corrosion problem. All right. This metal tab in the middle is often corroded. It's a little spring loaded and uh, so you'll need to scrape that perhaps with a sharp knife. If it has corrosion you definitely need to scrape it. And another place where you need to make sure <clears throat> there's no corrosion is on this opposite side. This is actually a metal piece that needs to connect on the side of your battery and there was a lot of corrosion we found here as well. So you have to scrape this well, and you may even need to get your knife or a screwdriver behind there and pry it forward slightly. Or same with this piece here, pry it up slightly so to be sure that it's actually going to contact the battery when you place it back in. Of course, you also wanna check your battery. Um, the corrosion is likely gonna be around the side too here. We've already scraped it. And when you place this back in, um, if you can't see um, things that are small, you'll need to feel that there is a bump on one side and the opposite side um, that don't line up with the groove on the front, but there are grooves those are going to slide into. They're very difficult to see, but that's how you get it to sit back down in there. And, and then we'll spin it back closed. Now this other side where the screen was fogged and like I said there was a lot of water vapor on the inside, we simply, we took the battery out first of all when we found it was no longer working and then we just had to leave it in a very warm place for a long time and I mean a long time. I think we, it was there for several days, maybe even weeks before that water vapor eventually, eventually, uh, evaporated out, dried out, um, but you can see even so um, there are some marks on the inside of the screen that will not wipe off. This temperature reader has been very helpful, um, but, a, but with those cautions that you do need to keep it upward, uh, keep the screen upward so as not to let any water roll back on it, and this sleeve on the front does come off if you find it's easier to use it that way. It will work. You can see that even with this on, there's water that's collected here. You know, don't know if that'll cause a problem in the future or not, but you certainly do not want to let it get wet up here, if at all possible.